Hi, I'm the Royal Vent Samuels, and welcome to the Loft Garden. So first things first, I need to do some of the uh, boring prep work. And the one thing that's missing is power. So growing in the loft, it's very dark, and I need to use artificial lights. So that's fine. So I'm wiring this, um, this little plug socket. So safety first, I'm going to turn off the circuit I'm working on, but also to be safe, I'm going to turn off the uh, the main switch for the entire house. And then I'll be using this 12 volt um, jump starter for the car. I'll be plugging in a 12 volt compact fluorescent light to give me some light to work by. I nicked these lights from my wife's horse stables, so I'll do the trick. Now I've chosen um, this particular junction box because it's not particularly used by other things. It's for outdoor lighting and it's got its own circuit. So I've taken off the cover and now I'm wiring in my uh, my new socket. Now none of this is hard to do but if you get something wrong you can start a fire in your house. So obviously up to you if you want to take the risk that's fine. Now I'm using these mechanical timers uh, to allow me to set the, the timing of the lights and that kind of thing. This one here is currently off so I'm just testing that and the other one should be on. And there we go we've got light. And now the time has come to set up the grow tent. It was a cheap one from eBay. Um, it had to be small because there's not much roof space. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cheap kit. It should do the trick. Um, and I couldn't find any instructions. So as you'll see, at the moment I'm sticking up some poles, but in a minute I have to take them down again. Also without instructions, um, I have a bit of trouble with this ground mat here. It should be going on the inside of the frame, not the outside. So after a bit of struggle I worked that out. But again, without instructions, it was all a guessing game. And this is where I get into a bit of trouble. Uh, I've set up the frame and this has to go on the outside now. Fairly quickly I work out that's not going to work, so I try to take it down. Um, but again, I haven't taken enough poles out. I end up just ripping them out again and pretty much starting from scratch. Now by this point I've been going for about oh, probably 45 minutes and it's not cold in the loft. It's been quite sunny that day and uh, I think it was about 26 degrees Celsius. So it was quite a warm day to be working in an enclosed stuffy, stuffy space. But um, the tent finally does come together. It will definitely do the trick, but um, yeah, it wasn't easy. I don't necessarily suggest this is a practical way to garden, but look, it's a novel way to garden if nothing else. Ah, <sighs> done. So stay tuned, because in the next episode we'll be growing some magic mushrooms. Not really. Just uh, gourmet mushrooms from a socially responsible company called Fungi Futures. And they use waste coffee grinds and they create these fantastic little um, gourmet mushroom grow kits. So subscribe now, the link is above the video. Make sure to comment and like the video as well. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook if you like. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next episode. I've got some time lapse video, you know, that kind of thing. So it should be fun. But for now, thanks for watching.